Hi guys, hello! First time seeing me on this channel. I am so excited to do like a, my first sit down video, even though it is like a bad thing that happened. But I was so excited to just see you guys, and don't worry, I will be showing my face often. Um, I am gonna get a whole setup and I'm, you know, building it and getting everything ready. I have my ring light, I have like my little tripod and everything for, you know, like my webcam and shit. And also, like, I'm also going to be unboxing my headset because I am so excited for that. And I'm going to be doing a lot more videos. Point of this video is, as you probably um, read the title, I got scammed and it hurt like it was like it has been like the first time I have gotten scammed like you know with a big amount um maybe you know on, on eBay or something like the seller forgets to send me stuff I don't know like I've never been I've never been scammed at this um uh, scale so without further ado I'm Nani and this is Nani Plays let's get right into it <laughs> started like you know backtracking this whole thing started because sorry if I, if I look to the side this whole thing started because you know I'm getting my setup and of course me being a pink everything I wanted a pink gaming chair and due to the fact that my address is very complicated um not a lot of stuff ships to where I live so um, I was literally I was searching for like probably a month searching for you know gaming chairs on Amazon because I have Amazon Prime but like they were not available or they were very expensive and I was like there are affordable chairs that I could buy also there is the very famous bunny chair that everybody knows I really wanted that I really wanted that chair but it was kind of out of my price range I was kind of considering it but it was out of my price range so um i looked for chairs everywhere amazon they were not available they were out of stock i searched for home depot has chairs walmart best buy ebay i searched everywhere i could not find the pink gaming chair that i wanted i just wanted a pink one i just wanted a pink cute one like pink and white that is all i wanted i am not kidding like i wasn't picky i just wanted one that would ship so, you know, after a month of searching for this, for, you know, for a gaming chair, um, I stumbled upon this website. So a friend recommended it to me because, you know, she saw that it did accept my address. And I was like, wait, is this real? Is this real? So like I searched on YouTube and it was like people reviewing items from that website. And I was like, it's kind of legit. So I was like, sure, awesome, perfect, I'm going to get it. So there wasn't the one that I wanted, the one that like I ended up purchasing was like this one right here. Um, so yeah, it's like pink and purple, but I was like, it's cute, it's fine, it's gonna ship. I'm so excited, like I don't care at this point. Thing is, that was on August 13th that I made the order. Like I just, I, I, I added to my cart, I added my credit card, okay. And then another sketchy thing that happened was that it had different options for payment. It had like PayPal, no, it didn't have PayPal. It had like Amazon Pay and it had another pay payment method or just straight up credit card. When I tried to pay with Amazon, it like, it wouldn't let me. Fair enough, maybe it was because I was blocking the pop-up, but it wouldn't let me pay with Amazon. And I was like, dang, it's not letting me pay with Amazon. So like, I don't like inserting my credit card like my credit card info into websites but i was desperate so i answered my credit card like the payment went through i received my order confirmation i was like so excited that was on the 13th of august a week has passed and i'm like i haven't received shipping confirmation and it normally doesn't take this long to receive shipping confirmation then i go into the website i was like this was you know like a week after i was like i was kind of worried but i was like it's okay you know with the whole pandemic happening shipping is is kind of weird so i was like it's fine i just brushed brushed it off then 
Um, then I, again, like two more days passed and I was still worried. And then like I went into the website and I was like, let me see if this is real. So like I started looking up reviews, like the reviews that they had of the particular chair on their website. And the reviews, they were, they, they were bad reviews. They were good reviews. And I'm like, this can't be a scam because like, scam websites don't have bad reviews of their products you know that's that's my thought process so i was like they have bad reviews they have like chairs with broken pieces or something and i was like this looks legit then um and in those reviews the people were saying that it shipped really quickly that they had it in like two days or something like they received shipping shipping confirmation like that same day and i was like uh i'm sorry i haven't received shipping confirmation and it's been two weeks so I was very worried at this point. So then it says that you can contact them. You can contact them through Facebook messages or you can contact them through uh, email. So I directed, like I, I clicked on the Facebook messages and it said that, it said like this uh, page typically responds instantly. So I was like, perfect, I'm gonna get a response. And I was like, hey, um, I placed an order on the 13th of August and I still haven't received shipping confirmation. And then nothing happened. The message was never read. And I was like, this is very weird. So then I mess, I, it, it, like two hours passed. I was like, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. Two hours passed and nothing. So I said, hey, um, I would like a refund because they have like in their page, they have like refunds, the, a refund policy. So I was like, hey, I would like a refund. I haven't received my shipping confirmation no response the message was never read um so i proceed to uh send them an email with the same thing hey i i ordered on the 13th i haven't received a shipping confirmation i would like a refund that's all i said oh my order number is this again no response so at this point i was really freaking out so then i go into their facebook Oh, I go into their Instagram. I DM them on Instagram. And then another red flag. Their Instagram has like 10 followers, zero posts. And I'm like, oh, this is not good. Because, you know, a company has to be on social media. Like a good company is on all social media. And they should have an Instagram, uh, an active Instagram. They should have like a lot of followers if they're a big company. My thought process, you know, that's like my logic. So I DM them on Instagram, also not a reply. And I'm like, dang. So then I go into their Facebook and I go into the last post. Like I just look at their post. And the last post that they did was like on February, 2019, I, I believe. And I was like, this is this is way too long for like a Facebook post. And then I, they were, and the post said like, hey, um, we're going, like our shop is open again. Um, and, and then I go into the comments and the people in the comments were like, this is a scam. They stole my money. This is a scam website. Be careful. And then, and they had like a link to report the website. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is literally a scam. And I am dumb. <laughs> uh, I am out of money. Oh, I forgot to mention the chair was $274. So yeah. I was very, 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 very scared. Um, and at that point, when I, when I, you know, I figured out that it was a scam, I had to work. And it was like an hour till my shift, and I was freaking out. I was like, I got to my shift, and I was freaking out. I messaged my friend. I was like, Hey, this website is a scam. So she sent me like, you know, things that I can do to the bank. That she sent me like, you know, you should call the bank. You should tell them it's a scam because they typically give you the money back. I was like. Ooh, I need to do this so I'm like minutes before my shift just messaging with my credit card company being like hey I think this is a scam I'm I don't think I'm gonna get my article and then I, I did I did all the process all the things that they told me to do so oh uh, also I forgot to mention that um, I started looking up all this information because on Amazon the bunny chair was available that day and it was on sale for like almost the same amount that I paid for the other chair and I was like I want this bunny chair and this is like the official bunny chair from Amazon it's legit like I want my refund and I want to buy this bunny chair 
so that's when I went into the rabbit hole of searching if it was real and I messaged them and I was like hey I want a refund and then everything else happened so thankfully I finished my shift my shift was like six seven hours I think so yeah I was nervous the whole shift um I had I had like a 30 minute break and I managed to contact the company the 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 credit card company and they were like okay we're gonna give you a, a credit for you for the amount because you're, you're saying you try to contact the the company you try to contact the seller they haven't contacted you back and we're gonna give you a credit and i was like yes thank you baby jesus at least i'm gonna get you know i'm gonna get my money back so then i proceed i run to amazon and then i type in you know the bunny chair I just type in pink gaming chair. Uh, I add it to my cart. It's in Prime. It's like almost the same amount. And I'm like, yes, I'm going to get the bunny chair. And guess what? It doesn't ship to my location. And I was like, holy poop. I'm not going to get a chair. I was so frustrated. Um, but at the end of the day, closing the video. This is going to be a really short video. Just a little story time. <laughs> closing the video. At the end of the day, uh, the today is like four days has passed after I contacted the credit card company. I did get my credit, super excited. I did get my credit and I managed to place an order for a chair on Amazon, which is this one right here. Super cute, super excited. Still hasn't shipped, but you know, I trust Amazon. Amazon is like, I trust you and you're legit. Oh, awesome. Before that thing, like this is, this is, this is so all over the place. Before I managed to place the order on the, on the one that I placed, um, I found one on eBay and it was a reputable seller. They had, it was a reasonable price. They had free shipping. I was like, yes, I'm going to get this chair. So I placed it and like five hours later, the seller is like, Hey, this chair is out of stock. We could send you this one. And I'm like, no i wanted the pink one it's okay just give me a refund it's fine i don't i don't need it but i do need it i need a chair so yeah they just they're like okay well we'll give you a refund and i'm like thank you at least you know they did give me a refund and you know that was fine because reputable seller nice job on my part with that one and then i was refreshing amazon to see if any new chairs popped up and then that's when i found this one so long story short oh i forgot to mention the website name is called meteorite cables so moral of the story do not buy from this store there is a website that um that kind of has you know the some it's like a website check it like you just check if it's a real if it's real or if it's it's scam and yeah do your research <laughs> don't buy from this company i like from now on i will only trust like the the brand company and i will trust amazon and i will trust ebay i'm not trusting no websites um but yes uh thankfully i did get everything sorted out everything is fine i'm hopefully getting a chair it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay so yes learn from my mistakes children learn from my mistakes um yes that is going to be everything for today's video i hope you guys uh liked it <laughs> um i hope that you guys are you know happy to see like a full-faced video here on my channel even though if it's you know a story time <laughs> um yeah that's it um subscribe for more because you know my life is a mess uh like this video and comment down below if anything like this has happened or like you know like little scams i mean every scam is a scam but like i feel that this hurt because it hurt you know it's 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 some big money in my opinion you know everything more than 50 dollars is like expensive <laughs> so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys